It's mine, babe. Let's just say I'd be pretty shocked if I don't get a big fat contract through my door with six figures on it. Maybe even a company car. I'm going to ask for a Rolls Royce as well. Oh, I smashed it, annihilated it, creamed it. Okay, that does sound a bit weird, but you know what I mean. Eh, good here! Don't you hang up on me now! I didn't get it. Oh, I bloody did it! Get it! How can they not give it to me? What's wrong with me? Let's see where this gets me. Please, Baba, I really need this job. I'll even give up sweet things. But for a limited period. I told you, didn't I? I knew you'd get it. Well, I didn't know. The last rejection really knocked me for six. Seven, actually. This isn't even the job I wanted. The last one really was. I was perfect for it. I know you were, but look, at least you're working now, which I haven't been for a while. Yeah, I'm working for a firm full of white people. I'm going to stand out like a sore thumb. I mean, Dudley works there. That should say it all. And Dudley is doing really well for himself, as will you. Now can we get in there and celebrate, please? I think we all deserve a drink or two. Ugh, if we have to. What can I get you? I'll have a gin and tonic with lemon, please, and he'll have a Guinness. Are you remember? Obviously. We go drinking together all the time. Duh. Sorry, uh, what? A uh, Guinness? That one there, please, mate. Don't worry about them, Paolo. They drink sorted. Would you mind checking the delivery out the back, though, mate? Sure. Pretty, Andre. I haven't seen you both in a while. We only just took him on. He's studying English here. I hope he uh, gets used to pouring pipes soon. Your family's keeping well. They're all good, thanks, brother. Sorry we haven't been in. Not going to lie, that is my fault. I've been a bit broken down in the dance. Job hunting does that to you. It's really good you gave him a job though, Gaz. He must have been applying everywhere. No, yeah, not really. You walked in, uh, said you really wanted to work here, so I took a punt with him. Anyway, it's your day. I hear you've got a new job. So it's been requested I'll give you this by your two excited pals over there. How did that bartender get the job he wanted first time he applied? And then there's me, who keeps getting rejected. But I wouldn't reject you. That company's probably racist. See, I don't think they are. They're part of the top 10 diverse companies in the UK. Maybe it is me then after all. What, you with a new top floor office and six figures in your bank account, yeah? Come on, let's get drinking. Pop a smile on. Congratulations, babe. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be working together. It does indeed. Is your firm ready for me? That's the question. Of course we are. We need some more, uh... <laughs> yeah, we are. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be there for after work drinks and lunches all the time now that my bestie and my boyfriend work at the same place. It's just around the corner for me as well. Where you guys work, all you accountants, lawyers, bankers is dead. You guys need to take a trip from the city into the West End where us creatives live. Yeah, well, being a creative doesn't really pay the bills though, does it? it? Must save on therapy costs though by doing actual fun jobs. Life isn't just about having fun. You gotta love what you do, sure. But you gotta be able to progress and earn. You enjoy what you do then? You enjoy working there? <laughs> because if I'm honest, I don't see myself liking it. I just took it because I had to. Well, it's a good place to work, I told you that. Top form in the industry, it's stable. You've got loads of progression and you've got such a good package. You make it sound like a funeral checklist. But don't you want to be proud of what you do? Feel like you're making a difference? And being a freelance photographer does that, does it? Yeah, actually. My recent project, showcasing the work being done by people from a BAME background on the front line, just got published. It's called Raising Awareness. You won't understand that. Surprised by you though, Kieran. Don't start, I didn't say anything. Can we all just have a good night and cheers my lovely pretty on her new chapter? I want to make a difference though, Kieran. Like Andre said. Oh my god, that good deed that did not give me the job just walked in. She is proper gorgeous. I mean, an absolute bitch, but like a fit one. Don't you even dare think about going over. Yeah, 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 he's right. You want to be moving forward instead of moaning about being rejected. 
And what would you know about rejection? You've been in the same job for 11 years. You had one interview and that was for grad scheme. Oh, that's not fair. He got the grades though. It's not like it was just handed to him. I got the grades as well though. Better ones in fact. And I'm starting as his junior. It's harder for me. You know that? I do, but I also know it's harder if you have a different skin colour. Wouldn't you agree, Dudley? Uh, to be honest, I've never thought about it before. <laughs> of course you haven't. Well, why would he though? He's not had to work twice as hard just to get noticed. You're not to blame for that, Dudley. It's just the way it is. It's kind of changing, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. So they've got this um, diversity chair thing at my office. Oh, there you go. That sounds good and promising. It is. And they've got this special day dedicated to making all things inclusive. That isn't inclusiveness. That's them trying to prove they're diverse. I, I don't get it. Why aren't you happy? Look. It's a good movement that they're putting in place, but it's still not fixing the problem. But if anything, it's dividing us even more. How though? What can we do? Babe, it's not your battle. Or even an us versus them thing. In fact, it shouldn't even be a battle at all, okay? Diversity is not about having a special hour or day or week where we can express our views in the spotlight. We should be involved in the everyday starting lineup, regardless, and not as a supporting cast. What your firm are doing He's ticking a box. You lot are the loudest punch in here, but you haven't touched a drop. Drink up. <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't have to ask me twice. Pretty, darling. I hope you don't mind me getting involved. I couldn't help overhearing you. Look around you. The majority of the people in this pub are white, and it's always been this way, even though it's one of the most Indian populated towns in London. So how are we going to include Indians Chinese and black people and everything when this is Britain. It's full of people of my skin. It would be the other way around if it was in India. The difference is in India, you would be put on a pedestal because you're for money. At least there you would be anyway. But white people are a sign of hope in Nigeria, India or wherever. You'd be a sign of something more than the conditions you live in back there. We know we're the minorities. We're not expecting miracles. To walk into a boardroom and there'd be a perfectly mixed cocktail of races. It doesn't work like that, and we don't expect it to. But we should at least have a fair chance at auditioning for the lead role. We just want everything to be based on merit. Now, I'm mixed and I feel it every single day. How do they expect for there to be a mix of different ideas and different life stories if everybody is from the same exact pool? <laughs> I mean, don't they want some exotic backgrounds to spice things up a little? Well, they definitely should. There's so much we could all do together. Well, maybe it's been all right for years and nobody wants to change that. Yeah, but what if it could be better? You know, just by listening or opening your eyes just a little bit. I knew how it would be when we came here to make a better life for ourselves. I didn't even bother trying to find a job. I decided the only way we were going to make it is if I did something for myself. And boy, have I done that. So you didn't come here for work then? For better opportunities? Oh, we came for better opportunities. To make money, that is. <laughs> we knew we wouldn't get heard or seen, so we just had to make our own way. But don't get me wrong, we knew how to play the game. The game? Yes, the game, honey. You should be aware of it. Many successful women have been playing it for a while now. The game is where you're obedient and follow the rules. Yeah, it's where you take opportunities where you can to get ahead, in spite of your own opinions. It's where you nod, you smile when you have to, and you keep up appearances. You play by their official handbook. Tick that box. Yes, you tick that box they need filling. All the while you are grinding away putting yourself in a position of power. Mm. I took so many jobs I was overqualified for. Mm. Back home, I'm a professor. Whereas here, I'm a delivery driver. And I was a dinner lady when we first got here. But I knew where my bread was buttered and I got a job at an all black school. The private school across the road probably paid more though. Yes, but you know I didn't feel like you quite fit in. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Gav, can I ask, why did you give Paolo the job? I'll be really honest, it, 
Wanted to tick no box, I just needed someone quickly. See? It's not always about race. But you can see why they... know why we think that it might be. Well, ain't I ticking a box right now? Now, I'm the only white guy in this group. Like, so I'm definitely not racist. Yeah. But, like, you're my girlfriend and you're Indian. Yeah, but I'm not defined by my skin colour. I think that's what they're trying to say, babe. Plus, I'm a bit of a coconut. <laughs> Listen, sweetie. No one here is calling you a racist. Or even thinks that you are. You would never be ticking the box. Because you would never be a token. There shouldn't be any boxes. But that's the problem with society, with the world in general. Yeah, it doesn't come down to one person thinking one way. Dudley, people could call us racist for sitting together, not segregating ourselves. People like you are great because you're bridging that gap. How do we make sure there is no gap then? God knows. Well, Dudley could go sit with Bob and Sal over there. And I probably could as well. But I'd rather find a Jatinder and Buckshaw to have an atta with. Where are they going to come from? Especially with the old border controls now. The change would be if I decided Bob and Sal are my people to sit with rather than Jatinder and Buckshaw in the same place. By the way, spot on with the names. That is Bob and Sal, actually. <laughs> <laughs> They're regulars here. I have met a Jatinder and Buckshaw, actually. I do think they would be friendlier. My parents always are to my white friends. I don't think it would be dope when he was planning on marrying one. <laughs> Marriage? Oh, thank God they're going. I don't need anyone next to them if you're right now. <laughs> Andre, where are you going? Excuse me, hold on a minute. Who us? Yeah, more her. Pretty, I didn't see you there. Hello. Yeah, you did, and I saw you as well. You're great, by the way. I'm sorry you didn't get it. It was beyond my control. Did you even want her to get it? Like I said, she was a great candidate as were the others. So what is this about? Well, please do share why she didn't get it. I've just come in here for a quiet drink after a hard day. Every African deserves some feedback though, right? Pretty knows it wasn't personal if that is what you're insinuating. The guy that got the job just had more experience. The guy! I get it now. I guess I'll just have to accept it. Hold on a minute. That's not quite right, is it, Jen? Come on, you even said to me she blew everyone out the water. I did what? Let's go, Sass. She blew everyone out the water but still didn't get it. Someone please make it make sense. Look, you didn't get the job, not because you're not qualified enough or not good enough. None of that. You didn't get the job because the quota was already full. The quota? The diversity quota? Oh my, I've heard it all now. You have to be kidding me, there's such thing as too many Asians on the payroll. It's not like that. You wouldn't understand. I think the picture is pretty clear. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's just the way it is. You were genuinely great, though. Soz. Of course, typical. We didn't have to do that, Andre. For you? Of course I did. What? That shit actually happened? No, no, no. Not in my office. You got the job because you were good. Sure, I put in a good word, but still. Tell him, Kieran. Tell me what? Kieran? I told her to apply for that job at your firm. And what's wrong with that? Because I knew she would get it. Because I knew there was a box that needed ticking. Which she fits. I'm going to tick that box so I can get to where I want.
Thank you.